Me and my boyfriend went to the Maldives recently. There are many islands in the Maldives. We arrived at our hotel by speedboat. Upon arrival, they gave us a welcome drink. We went to the beach a lot this day. It was very, very beautiful and very sunny today. The best weather of all was our first day, actually. These houses on the water are so beautiful, just like the videos online. Houses on the water are more expensive, but there are also lots of beach houses, too. We decided to also go to the pool. It was really relaxing and we got a tan. We also took some time by the beach and it was really nice and relaxing. I'm really adamant about sunblock though. Here is the house that we paid for in the Maldives. It's super cute. By the way, the island we're staying on is called Vando's Maldives and that was the name of our hotel as well. It's a resort and it's all inclusive. The room is actually pretty spacious. I really liked it. We already put our stuff away, so you can see a lot of our stuff in the room already. I thought the room was super spacious and beautiful, and we really enjoyed staying here. The bed was also very comfortable. They also have snacks, coffee, and water provided, which is also part of the all-inclusive. Here is the little bench area next to the closet space. And then, let's open the closet. Like I said, we've already unpacked our stuff, so all of our stuff is already in the closet. They also do have a safe. Maldives is pretty safe, but we did end up using the safe also, just in case. It's pretty hot also, so we always kept the air conditioner on. It works really well, and as it should. The bathroom is nice and spacious, and they refilled our towels every single day. They also had the basic toiletries that most hotels provide you. The shower seems very, very spacious, and it was. They also provided us a welcome bottle of wine. Pretty cool, right? I don't drink any alcohol, though, but my boyfriend does. Also, I'd like to mention that when you walk along the island, there's a lot of paths, and it's basically like you're in a forest, sort of. The hotel has a lot of excursions scheduled every day, so the first one we decided to try was dolphin watching. I really had no idea what to expect honestly, but this was a really good tour as well. There were times when there were so many dolphins next to the boat, and it was honestly fantastic and very surreal. It was honestly a sight to see, it was pretty cool. Watching the dolphins made me feel like they were very playful because a lot of them did many jumps and tricks and flips, which I thought was really cool. I personally thought these dolphins looked like they were in love, but that's just what I like to imagine. It was a little bit difficult to get footage, but I got some good ones. This one is one of my personal favorites. Another activity that we did was snorkeling, and I thought this one was probably my favorite activity on the whole island. We did the snorkeling days in a row because I thought it was just so cool to see all of the wildlife in the water. It was kind of hard to get footage, but I thought it was super, super worth it. The footage that I got versus what I saw with my own eyes is really incredible. Like I said, it's hard to get footage. But the footage really doesn't capture what I truly saw. There were so many really amazing animals in the water. You really have to see it to believe it. Basically, I just had a waterproof lanyard that I used for cell phones. If you have any idea on what works better, then please drop a comment below. You might be curious as to what they had in the all-inclusive buffet. They have a ton of food, that's for sure. I would probably describe the food as a mixture of Indian and Western cuisine. You have to understand that Maldives is in the location of the Indian Ocean, so they definitely have a lot of Indian influence. I thought it was really cool trying a lot of the Indian dishes. I didn't want to get too much footage of all the food because I didn't want to distract people while they were grabbing their food. But there's a lot of space to grab your food. Three full rooms like this where you can sit around and have your lunch or dinner or breakfast. There's also always another option to eat at the restaurants that they have on the island, which is 40% off if you're on the all-inclusive. So another excursion that we thought we would do is the fishing. 
We did sunset fishing and that was super exciting. I was really pleased by it because personally I had never gone fishing ever in my life. Here is the guy pulling in a fish that I caught. So cool. Honestly it was an eel so we did have to put it back. But it was really cool. I was so proud. I was kind of lazy with the fishing so he did a lot of my fishing for me though. Honestly I still thought it was a really cool experience. The other people who joined the excursion were pretty good at fishing too. This guy caught an, a lot of fish. I feel like he caught a few fish on our whole trip. For me it was super exciting because like I said, I had never gone fishing. And look, take a look, he's got another fish. I'm so happy I got this on camera. I thought it was really, really cool. When you never go fishing, it's all super exciting. Sometimes at night they also have people performing. The kids are not part of the performance, but I thought they were being really cute. So I thought I'd let you know that we did go during rainy season, so there were times where it rained a lot, so I thought I would be very transparent about that. But to be honest, I still think going during rainy season is super worth it. I personally think there's way more sunny times than rainy times by far. When it rains, it really pours, so while you're eating, they do put a cover over the restaurant that you might be eating at. It's extremely windy and rainy at the same time oftentimes, but honestly, I think it's really worth it to still go to the Maldives during rainy season. I think it's honestly very similar to the Caribbean, although it is much more expensive, I'll be honest. But overall, I do think that if you have your set sight on going to Maldives, it's still very worth it. Because most of the time you'll still have a lot of sun. Hope you enjoyed my video!